my dear Libra, this is a love reading, a prediction for the month of May with me, Queen of Cups Tarot. As an extended member to this channel, you will get these readings ahead of time and with no ads. And there's an all sign reading up about finances and career for the full members to this channel and the reading, how do I work on finding a life partner are available for all the members to the channel. Subscribe and then check out the many perks through the join button that will appear or follow the link in the description box to learn more about membership. And I can recommend that you rewatch the previous love reading for April to get a context. And this is the prediction for May. I will start reading your cards and I'm using the Osho Sen Tarot by Ma Deva Padma. When I open your deck here, I see the burden together with guidance. Uh, so it seems like you feel like other people is um, um, not happy with you. They want you to do things or remodel yourself or make yourself into something that you are not. Uh, or maybe you are doing this to someone else. Uh, it's like we know better. We know what would make them happy or what would solve their issues or solve their life <laughs> okay so i call the divine with love and light and here we have harmony together with guidance so it might be that you have a soft spot for someone that you feel is kind of top riding you or giving you a lot of criticism um, or it might be that someone feels like they are criticizing you out of love climbing to the past Hmm. It might be that we are a little bit stuck on an old romance with uh, someone that um, uh, might always have um, had an idea of how we could change, how we could improve, uh, that we weren't uh, a nice person or a good partner. Um, it can also be that uh, we have been uh, saying these things to people and um, but we still love this person. Okay, so I call the four archangels in the four corners of the world. And here we have nothingness together with guidance. Nothingness is the high priest. Uh, so um, I feel this feeling of uh, doing things in the way that we think other people expect of us, following the rules, following uh, culture, family, religion, uh, what's okay in one family might not be okay in another family and we are strict with these rules so we are scared not to follow them because someone might get mad at us or think that we are not a good person so I can I can um, see that it might be like this that we for example feel harassed by our family but we are harassing our partner or we feel harassed by society and we also feel harassed by our partner <laughs> or the vice versa. It can go, it can be in the reverse as well. <laughs> so six elements. And here we have existence together with guidance. What I also felt with the guidance card is being the significator and the hero font or nothingness card is that we might feel very connected with someone that we don't want to feel connected to. Maybe we are a little bit uh, upset with them uh, for asking too much of us or not fulfilling our expectations. Um, and existence it just feels like it's to keep on keeping on. Um, logically, we might feel like we should disconnect from this uh, person or uh, that is hopeless to live up to their expectations. But uh, on another level, it feels like we are drawn to continue working with these issues, uh, possibly with this person. Okay, so six elements, earth, wind, fire, water, spirit, and ether to join us here today and to give us a clear view reading. <laughs> so this is how it can feel to have someone criticizing you. But this is also how it can feel to be with someone that doesn't live up to your expectations and you're trying to hold back on your critique like not telling them that well you are late again it makes me feel unloved or uh, you should really put your shoes in a better order when you come home 
because we are so irritated with them because of the shoes that we would want to bite their head off. Um, so we got issues. <laughs> okay, so that's probably a song. Actually, when I started your reading, I he heard this bad habit is some <laughs> so this is also a song and then issues so you have two songs already okay so uh, I want my dear Libra to have love in their life and to find themselves in loving relationships I also want you to have creative success and to be able to walk on your highest part towards your highest destiny I just felt like the the cards were getting in order, so I had to finish up my prayer. Uh, so tuning in for a few seconds here to you, the person most on your mind and your relationship in May. <clears throat> this is the new bottom of the deck five of swords comparison you should be better i don't want to live up to your expectations everyone says that this is the thing way we should do things and um, we are comparing maybe our relationship to our friend's relationship because their relationship seems so amazing their partner is so amazing and our is so dull or so uninterested or so uninvested or <laughs> whatever it is so there's a lot of these, these things going on. And I feel like the Ten of Wands, the suppression with the vol volcano and this, um, they are hand in hand. Because when we are comparing like this, um, how it would be to have a partner that put their shoes in order versus not having that. Um, and all these other complaints we have, <laughs> we get, um, our mind gets very clouded uh, with all these uh, ideas and frustrations and it's a little bit unfair also everyone can't be the same and this is the old bottom of the deck so the dream it definitely feels like we are drawn towards a person where we have issues to sort out uh, so our heart uh, wants to go back or wants to not give up about this relationship because um, not because it's so super romantic really it's more that the heart fools you into doing a lot of personal growth together with a person that will trigger you endlessly so you grow <laughs> okay <clears throat> so what's on your mind with the person most on your mind this is the situation with said person what's on their mind with you, uh, your feelings, the bond between you two, their feelings, your behaviors and attitudes, the outcome for May, and their behaviors and attitudes. So we we'll start with that situation, which is awareness. So I think um, we are aware uh, both of um, our aversion maybe to conform ourselves to other people's opinion and we might also be aware that we are trying to force someone to uh, <laughs> conform, kind of condition themselves accordingly to our will uh, but we are getting aware about this we are starting to realize what it is that we are doing and um, it seems from your perspective this is some kind of karma it's something you have worked on for a very long time um this with society and other people and relationships and um so there's a lot of um, history connected to this and we might get unnecessarily triggered because the situation today looks like a situation yesterday that was really you know horrible but today's situation is not going to be horrible in that way just resembles the old situation and sometimes we just remember these old situations subconsciously and we might get triggered uh, and we don't have any idea why we get so super triggered and uh, usually in these cases it's good to try to remember a little bit about your childhood or past lives because it can solve a lot of um, question um, like a lot of questions might be getting their answers and and you will realize a little bit more why you get so super triggered by things and then 
when we take more conscious decisions about our triggering, it, it, it doesn't rule our life anymore. But when we subconsciously just get triggered and triggered and triggered, we will just have like a reaction, the old reaction, the same reaction again and again and again and again. And our life is in a loop and we uh, repeat our mistakes uh, over and over and over and over again. But if we can get aware, we can get out of that type of loop. So and this is um, what's on their mind. And we have uh, ordinariness. So they seem to maybe not work with exactly these big uh, issues right now. They might be preoccupied with work or uh, just dealing with their everyday chores. Or, um, uh, it's like they're having a mental vacation <laughs> a little bit. Uh, where maybe they are not forced as heavily as you to uh, to look at their karma and past life. So you might feel like they are oblivion and, you know, you are really onto something and they are just uh, going around kicking small rocks and picking flowers. And, uh, <laughs> well, it's, it's just your different places uh, right now. Maybe they have been working on their triggerings or will be working on their triggerings so this is the bond between you two we have another eight eight are eternity things but for them it feels like they're a little bit like a vacation from this eternity and here is guilt we might try to guilt trip someone else so they are trying to guilt trip us into becoming what they want us to be or acting as they expect us to act so they don't get triggered or this is us doing this. Uh, so there's a lot of guilt in this relationship. We get, um, uh, we should be in some other way or um, we should love them more or act better. <laughs> okay, so this is your feelings and it's the existence and their feelings turning in, which kind of, you're sitting in the same posture, but I feel like they have a little bit peace of mind right now. Um, it can be that they have been through so much crap that they just um, have taken this little bit mental vacation. Uh, but I feel like they also have made certain accomplishments uh, with seeing their own triggers. We can see this person's face and it's totally in peace, even though they have all these voices uh, telling them what to do like you oh you shouldn't have said that and now you made a fool of yourself and uh, they probably don't love you anyway and if they don't come now at this um, time what you told them um, they probably don't care about you at all yada 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 so but this person is uh, is getting more consciously aware about this so both these cards kind of remind me of this awareness card so I feel uh, maybe you are in a situation where you feel a little bit more uh, triggered by the whole thing, but they have maybe come a little bit further with actually um, settling with their triggers. It's as if they, they know their triggers, but they don't get so triggered by them. They feel them in the same way, but they don't do the endless dance anymore. The kind of eight is uh, talking a against that but the calmness i feel here is from a person that doesn't get triggered uh, this is not you being particularly triggered either it's more you being maybe inspired to work on these triggers again uh, but here is definitely the triggers and this is your behaviors and attitudes being triggered okay and their behaviors and attitudes moment to moment so again, I feel like they are a little bit less triggered. It's good because if we are both equally triggered, it will be very difficult to to come to our senses and, and to kind of see past uh, the dramatic feelings inside. But uh, if one has the dramatic feelings and the other person isn't so touched, they just say, OK, so how did that make you feel? Uh, we are probably not going to escalate the situation at least. So... Um, you might get a little bit triggered by this person seem seemingly acting so casual as they don't, uh, you know, they don't think that it's important what's going on or they are not engaged in, in the drama. But um, it's actually they have come to a point where 
these emotions doesn't have the same grip over them. So they are someone that we can get a little bit of help from um, because you will be super upset and all red in your face and stomping like this. And they will say, um, oh, darling, it seems like uh, you got really upset, putting a hand on your shoulder and saying, what's going on? Uh, please let me know and I will help you because they are not getting triggered. Uh, but they usually came out of what they're still hearing the voices, but uh, they don't spin off on them. Okay. And ripeness. So it feels like you can do some kind of progress. It's not uh, going to be super easy and it's not like a train rail. It's just um, you know, like your destiny is going in that direction. It might go in different direction depending on uh, you know, we say stupid things to each other that can be a little bit hard to forgive and then the relationship suddenly can go like turn into the ditch um, or goes out. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> with this, um, I'm feeling you have a, a good chance if both keep a little bit level head, eight, nine of pentacles, um, we can sort through uh, certain issues and be aware like okay now I'm triggered by this person and how could they how dare they put their shoes like that <laughs> okay but uh, instead of um, yelling our lungs out uh, we say I have like big issues with you putting your shoes like this I would if you could remember to put them straight I will try to figure out why it triggers me so much so you can make a deal <laughs> okay uh, to why uh, what is going on <clears throat> so this is the animal spirit for you uh, sea serpent and it's this what I told you like things going on and on and on but it's a good thing because we are doing the same thing over and over until we become the expert and here I feel like some kind of emotional uh, maturity growth potential for growth uh, potential for upcycling <laughs> for potential for um, elevating ourselves emotionally that we don't have to be just you know go from being triggered to acting out we can be triggered and become aware uh, of our own emotions in this situation and it feels like very forgiving very warm very generous humble a beautiful humble energy so even if you get super upset I think there's another side to you that can be more helpful and, and that can um hug you <laughs> internally when you get triggered and say okay that's good now you get triggered now we see where you're hurt i will take care of you so uh, there's a reason for the triggering shows where we are wounded or traumatized uh, and if we can give ourselves a lot of love there we will heal and this is um, for them then and we have the dragon so it's really, I feel like ordinariness here. It's not extravagant energy like, oh, they are so spiritually advanced. But here with the dragon, I feel like this behind it all, uh, there is an advancement in their call. And um, uh, the way that they deal with the uh, uh, conflicts is um, <clears throat> uh, it's very healthy. Okay, so I will say it like, that oh actually i think i will read this dragon card both of you got like the water cards no sorry it's not water it's spirit so these cards are a little bit more advanced uh, so i can read a little bit about sea serpent because it comes first so the sea serpent represents the energy of expression whether it's emotions creativity sensuality or or desire the sea serpent helps us move and direct our energy into a healthy current when the essence of this card is in balance we express ourselves um our creatively and sexually without fear or shame we know what we desire most uh, so it's as if uh, um, we become friends with our triggering and we don't get so scared by the triggering anymore and we can transform it into some kind of creative healing energy but also love and um, expressions of love our heart are at ease and our relationships are meaningful and enduring we loosen the grip of self-judgment and we let the cool waters of forgiveness in to heal our wounds 
So that's very beautiful. And the dragon. Um, so with this spiritual cards, it might be that you have worked on this relationship for a longer period of time. It might feel like you have gotten nowhere, but just right now you are in a, um, like a little bit bumpy um, part of the road. Uh, but where we are about to make like real breakthrough. So, um, seeing one's most true self. The dragon sees everything. Its essence has been with us since before our first breath and will be there at our last. It watches us navigate the external world as well as our inner world. When dragon energy is awakened, we are courageous, visionary, and can easily drop into witness consciousness. It is almost as if we are traveling with a great friend inside of ourselves. So that's why this person can be so cool. Um, uh, the witness consciousness, they don't get triggered. They just witness the situation and say, okay, so how does that feel, make you feel? And traveling with a great friend inside themselves. When we look in the mirror deep into our eyes, we may even glimpse that self behind the self, the one who is watching. This is the power of the dragon breathing transformative fire into every cell of our bodies, witnessing this um, omnipotent energy, even for a brief moment, help us surrender and let go. Um, we let the dragon guide us. We hope on its hop, hop on its back for a ride. And as we traverse even the most difficult terrain, the dragon's eye sees beauty everywhere. So they just don't see the bullshit anymore. They just see, ah, oh, so now they're a little bit upset. They're there. <laughs> so it seems like you can't really trigger them. And this is from the Starseed Oracle. So for you, we have star uh, ancestors, hidden secrets, lost wisdom. Look a little deeper. I definitely feel like there's a lot of interesting treasures in your past life. Uh, lives. The different traumas that you have been through are like badges of honor uh, that will give you immense wisdom and experience when you are able to digest the trauma of it all. Uh, after that, uh, when you are healed, it's also always just become beautiful wisdom. And uh, you have been living so many amazing lives and collected so much knowledge. But because of the trauma, uh, you have disconnected from a lot of this knowledge to remember it again and to work through the trauma uh, can be very transformative and you will get access to a knowledge from your from your past lives. Uh, so that can be a, a real um a real uh, like leap for you um, making you feel totally different and this is for them double mission light workers star seeds serve the world by being you uh, so in this situation they can act like some sort of guide or help you through a certain difficult passage where you are about to face your triggers and your past lives and um, maybe they will also remember part of your past lives and you can journey together uh, back and um, uh, help each other uh, with what's also coming up. Um, it seems like you have um, a particular connection where you might have helped each other almost like uh, you have placed each other in different lifetimes as a help or an aid or a um, like a person can that you can show the road or um, help you in a crucial time. So I think you have been this for each other, but you might also have been each other's uh, uh, the reason to each other's trauma in many cases. But it has all been for your personal and spiritual uh, growth. It might have been some kind of war in heaven because I feel like this uh, and this some kind of quarrel going on and. Um, you know, this person might have been involved and you were involved. <laughs> so I don't know what um, it feels like battle of um, royalties. Okay, so that's the best. And not just Egypt. I'm feeling like medieval times and um, other times where you have um, maybe worked with royal energy, maybe being royalty. 
uh, and um, with its particularly I feel like stone cold energy a lot of uh, hunger for power and uh, a lot of uh, broken trusts and not being able to trust anyone like whomever can give you poison and you will be dead <laughs> I don't know but um, so there's a lot of distrust here and it might come forward you might be triggered uh, and feel like you can't trust your person even though you have no proof for that right now but I feel like this person won't be triggered by that they will just uh, show you that you can trust them so it can be a, a beautiful healing moment here in this relationship if you let it if you both let it so I would urge you to watch the pick a card reading message from spirit and the love reading for April to learn more about this situation or relationship. You can also order personal readings, distance healing and past life regression sessions at my webpage tart.com.se. And please share my videos on your social media to let more people know about them. Also like the video to show YouTube that you want to see more readings from me in your feed. And of course, subscribe and hit the notification bell to be sure that you get noticed when I'm posting a new video. Thank you so much in advance also for watching this far. Take really good care until next time. Stay awake, stay healthy, stay blessed and bye for now.